Here we go into our finals match for SCS 210. First for the Pomelos on red side, we have the Reborn, Mine Launcher Center, Artemis, Gatling, Hades, and the Light Flak for the Mobula. Their ally is the Phi, Heavy Carinade Goldfish, left side Mine Launcher, right side Flamethrower. For the opponents, Glowwater Thralls on blue, we have a phase returning. Lumberjack in the front of the Corsair with Gatling Watches. And finally, the dual Gatling Watches Shrike that we've seen. And we love the alien Dragonfly also taking a... I've never noticed you see a nice Polaris Company emblem on the balloon. One of the many clan... clan logos that have made it into the game as cosmetic items. Kira Wanai, a former member, I mean, I guess probably still current member of Polaris Company. A once, a once prominent competitive clan back in 2013. As we see Reborn taking a high overwatch position, they're checking the Rusted Hulk, the south half of the map. This is derelict, so there really are, assuming that blue team is going to, be, going to be the one making the aggressive posturing. There are two paths they can take, one through the north side of the map, which is more heavily clouded, as well as has these rocky terraces that pop out from the, the mountain. And then the other side is the this big rusted out ship, which is a little more open. As we see Reborn targeting the alien dragonfly while Phi moves forward for the phase. Mine's coming out. That one's a little bit far. Some un maybe unintended Lesmoth mines. Now alien dragonfly needs to decide if they want to disengage. They're, they're very afraid of these mines as they're rising up here. Without the mine launcher, you know, I think Shrike would just without fear run behind the Mobula, which is what they are finally doing, having risen up high enough that it's going to be difficult for the mines to track them, but Reborn doing a good job reversing, keeping up with the movements of the alien dragonfly. And I don't know if they're going to be able to deal with these mines. And now, with the Reborn having the super low position, Watch is not going to have downward arcs, and the mine's going to make it very difficult for them to descend. So I think Shrike may be just going to disengage from the Reborn and try to get a dual focus on the Phi with their ally, which I makes sense to me. Given that the Reborn is crippling their long-range uh, potential a little bit with this Mine Launcher-based build. So Alien Dragonfly able to safely disengage from the Mobula now, hitting the Phi. Phi sees that a dual focus is in their future, so they run away, run back. But Reborn is ready. Reborn has pushed forward. And Dragonfly about to lose armor. It's burning down. Balloon is low as well. Mine connection. 40% health is gone. And they're struggling. They're running away. Balloon just finally rebuilt. Phase going for the ram. Pushing the Mobula behind. I think they're going to smash them against the terrain. Phase. Oh, destroying the Reborn out of nowhere. A huge ram, but Shrike goes down as well from the goldfish. Back-to-back -back rams, I just can't keep up with the camera. And that's tying up the score, although it does mean that blue team going to have the tiebreaker advantage here. And because Pomelos did defeat Glowwater Thralls in the final round of the round robin, it means that to take the tournament, Pomelos, if they win this game on Derelict, they will be the SES 210 champions. Blowwater Thralls will have to win this game and then also win a follow-up game on Canyon Ambush. So, Pomelo's effectively with a one-game advantage in this best-of-three set. As the Reborn and Alien Dragonfly have spawned back in, moving to center map. Well, let's see, it looks like Watcha is down on the phase. Good light flash shots as well. 60% health being chipped off the Corsair. Fly having a little bit of difficulty with their balloon. So Reborn now 
the focus of both the blue ships, but FaZe is still low too. Where did they, I didn't, they were off camera for a moment and they took pretty much their entire, they took another 40% damage. The light flank on the Reborn doing good work against the Corsair. A lot of unexpected damage. You think, what, what, wait, how did the Reborn die? <laughs> what even, what even happened? Did they, they must have hit their head on the terrain and died. They, they had hydrogen, they had too much momentum. They hit the ceiling of the terrain and died. I, this game, <laughs> this game doesn't make sense sometimes. Oh, uh, Fi. What is Fi even doing? This is blue side of the map. They're charging forward. Both the blue ships are here. This seems bad. Reborn is totally on the opposite side of the map. I don't... I... A lot of what's happening here is inexplicable. And yeah, Goldfish gonna go down. I... They had a full health Goldfish at the end of that fight, so I don't know why they would just throw it away like that. Maybe, maybe just a momentary lapse of judgment, seeing the alien dragonfly trying to escape thinking maybe they could get a good watcher disable on those engines but in actuality you're not able to get a fast enough kill before the corsair comes in and dual focuses them i feel like this is this is one of those games that i'm just going to be rewatching the vod after afterwards because i have too many unanswered questions Like, has the U.S. government gotten into contact with extraterrestrials, you know? The important questions. Do we really land on the moon? The answer may surprise you. As Corsair moving in here low, using the balloon to block the downward fire, but it looks like a Reborn currently preoccupied with the Dragonfly. As both the blue ships move forward to target the Goldfish, Phase turning seems like next target going to be the Reborn, perhaps? No, they're staying on the Goldfish, reversing. They want watch connection. And I'm watching here, or I'm sorry, the uh, heavy carronade of the Fido's go down. As the alien dragonfly has, let's see, the front of the Reborn. Moon training back. Dragonfly definitely doesn't want to... Uh, maintain, stay in the front of the Mobula. They're definitely afraid of that Mine Launcher, so look at that great watch of connection, the strafing, the Mine Launcher unable to keep up from the Reborn. And now two engines down on the Mobula are going to hurt their close range mobility, and you really, when you're relying on those very precise, a very precise weapon like the Mine Launcher that is relies heavily on position, engines are important as the Fi goes down to the Corsair and I think Reborn's going to be following here with Glowwater Thralls on match point. This is taking place on red side of the map so if Reborn can somehow stay alive long enough for the fight to respawn perhaps the Pomelos can make something happen but they are taking a lot of damage. The balloon is down, Dragonfly's moving in Gatling, Mine Launcher targeting the Corsair but that gives the window for the Shrike to pick up the kill and the first game of our final set does go to the Glowwater Thralls. Which means this is anybody's tournament. Next game going to be on Canyon Ambush. Here we go into the final game of the final set of today's tournament. For Red Team, the Glowwater Thralls, we have a phase. Corsair, Lumberjack, Front, Gatling, Watches on both sides. Their ally, the Alien Dragonfly, Gatling, Watch, uh, Mirrored, Shrike. For their opponents, the Pomelos, we have the Reborn, Mine Launcher, Center Mobula, Artemis, Gatling, Light, and two Light Flax. In their ally, Phi, Heavy Kearney, Goldfish, Left Side, Mine Launcher, Right Side, Flamethrower, so... Basically the same ships we saw in the previous game on Derelict. Uh, Reborn has rearranged their guns a little bit and opted to... I'll just switch back to the Reborn real quick. Uh, they've swapped out their Hades for a second light flak. 
as we do see a Phi red team charge directly through center map. Well, it seemed like the Reborn and the Phi had split up a bit to try to cover the multiple entrances, entrances to their spawn point, and now Phi getting dual focused by the glow water thralls. Big damage, 50% health from the Phi already gone to the Corsair's uh, Huacha. And now the Corsair taking some unfortunate balloon damage, running into terrain. Mines coming out from the Reborn. Alien Dragonfly wants to finish off the Phi, but is unable to do so. Goldfish down to 15% permanent health. And now Dragonfly, in the face of both the blue ships, has to renew their position. And hope they don't hit any of those mines. As what's happening with the Phi? <laughs> I think Phi trying to reverse behind the Corsair. And actually has been able to disengage. This is a... Uh, this is one of the nice escape paths that you can utilize from blue side of the map. It's very narrow and difficult to chase through, especially for these broadside ships like the Shrike and the Corsair. So, uh, Phi barely surviving, but they have very little health, so their utility in this fight is going to be very limited against two ships which are both packing Gatlings and both packing uh, Huachas. The Huacha, the Gatling obviously will finish off the Goldfish armor very quickly as we see it hitting them now. But a uh, Huacha clip, clip as well will take down a Goldfish's armor by itself if the, the full Huacha connect, uh, clip does connect to the armor. As you see, FaZe has managed to take down the Reborn's balloon through sheer explosive damage from the Huacha. Alien Dragonfly moving in for a dual focus. Both the blue ships kind of cornered here at the entrance that are spawned. Phi, heavy carrying shots going into the phase, the Corsair. Gonna try to blend the Corsair into the ground. Now, thankfully for phase, the Corsair is pretty tanky, so it's gonna be di difficult for the Goldfish to get a fast kill, and despite Corsair's balloon being down, they're still able to let loose some Lumberjack shots on the Reborn, continue to dual focus on the Mobula as they get ground into the bomb of the Mac. Shrike going for the Ram, able to finish them off. First point on the board for Glowwater Thralls and second point as well. A decisive victory in this first fight taking place on Blue's side of the map, so we'll see where the Pomelos do decide to spawn. There is this protected spawn to the west side of the map behind the terrain that they could go for. That seems to be the direction that the Glowwater Thralls are heading in. I suspect they probably, given how easy it is, given how spread out the spawn points are, I suspect the Thralls are not going to fully commit to any uh, speculative push, but they do get a quick spot on the Reborn. As they do take, uh, blue team does take the western spawn, as predicted. Lumberjack shots coming out, first balloon disable on the Reborn, very good for red team. As the Phi moves in to try to, to uh, contest the Corsair, alien dragonfly, uh, a little indecisive for a moment, but does decide to go for the Mobula, as the phases Lumberjack is still in arc, while uh, the Corsair doing dual duty, Lumberjack shots hitting the Reborn while fa well, the Huacha deals with the goldfish and reborn's balloon does go down right side watcher hitting the reborn a slight bit of hole damage no big hole damage as the second watch a connection from the alien dragonfly knocking the reborn down to 25 percent perma hole reborn trying to use those mines but it's not enough to stop the shrike and the armor gonna go down again eight stacks nine stacks ten stacks of fire incendiary gatling they can't deal with it they're turning for the next watcher but Unable, uh, Shrike afraid of the Phi, not able to keep their arcs. Next armor break could be it for the Reborn, assuming Goldfish is unable to stop them. Corsair dropping down to pick up the kill for their team. As Reborn does what they can, they're, hide they're trying to rise up to dodge, but they take a ram. Ram goes into the armor, so it doesn't kill the Reborn. They're still alive somehow. And Phi taking down the alien dragonfly's balloon. Forcing the dragonfly to reverse away. Phase rising up, running through a mine. Get arcs back on the reborn. I think that has to be it for the reborn, right? Yes, they do go down. 
Low Order throws three points. If the Fi is unable to disengage, that's going to be match point for the Thralls. As the Watcher does come out, I think Fi turns, actually, they turn there to protect their engines, which is really smart. Instead, tanking the Watcher with the, the front gun, knowing that they're not going to be able to get a kill. Instead, the engines being more important. And, uh oh, wait, what are they doing? They lost their balloon. Oh no, they hit the terrain. This is, <laughs> they just lost 60% of their health. This is so bad. Oh no, they're going to die. Oh no. I think, I'm not sure if the lumberjack finished off their balloon or if they hit the, they just, the, their, the angle was slightly off. They're trying to strafe around the mountain and they knocked out their own balloon by colliding with the terrain. But either way, that is so bad for the Pomelos. As now, the Glowwater Thralls are on match point. Reborn already spotted, running to the east side of the map. Uh, at the very least, I don't think Reborn's going to get uh, dual, uh, 2v1'd here because they are far enough away for the Fi to respawn. But the Fi takes center spawn. Reborn might have been clogging up the spawn point. So Fi, uh, I'm not sure. Oh no, oh, Reborn is going to try to go through the pipe? This is not, it didn't work. I know, that seems sketchy. <laughs> they didn't, I guess they didn't have enough balloon. Lumberjack takes it out. I think I spawned north and they're going to meet up on the other side of the pipe hole. But the Mobula does not fit through that gap very well. And they're unable to make it work. And I think Corsair, yeah, just going to take him out. Game over. Glowwater Thralls just dominating their opponents in this final game on Canyon Ambush. And that means Glowwater Thralls are your SCS 210 champions. First time we've seen a full Thrall team uh, in a while. Oh, full Thrall team in quotes. But they did a good job. And as it turns out, Corsair is better than a squid.